going on everybody? Marvel Cross 316 back with another comic flashback today. We are looking at the Amazing Spider-Man issue number 74. This issue came out in July of 1969 and as we look on the cover today we have Silvermane. He makes his second appearance in this issue as well as Man Mountain Marco and we're going to be continuing the storyline with the petrified clay tablet and finally we are going to figure out the secret behind this tablet. What secrets does it hold? We're going to find all this out as we continue this storyline today. So do not click away because we have an exciting story to look at today. As always, this is brought to you by Stan The Man Lee, who wrote this issue. We have John Ringadine Ramita doing the artwork. Jim Mad Moon Mooney um, contributing as well with the inking. We have Sam Rosie Rosen on the lettering page. And let's go ahead now and continue with this story. We left off last issue with a bit of a cliffhanger as we saw that Silvermane had sent um, some of his men down to Florida to kidnap this guy right here, which is Kurt Connors. We know him as the infamous lizard. And so we see that he is put in a very uh, vicarious predicament here as he's being threatened here by the Magia. We have Silvermane here. He wants um, Kurt Connors to decipher the codes to figure out exactly what that clay tablet is saying here. So we're going to figure out all this as we continue the story here. Will Kurt Connors be able to decipher that clay tablet? So we see here that Silvermane strikes uh, Man Mountain Marco here because he's trying to hurt Kurt Connors here. But... We need Kurt Connors and perfect health so that he can be sent to a lab and decipher this thing and finally get to the conclusion of what this clay tablet and its meaning holds. So we come to find out in this issue as well that Silvermane it has a heart condition. He's not doing too well. And so th this is one of the reasons why he wants Kurt Connors to decipher the code because maybe this tablet will have some secrets that will reveal um, how he can heal his heart, basically, because that's what Silvermane is dealing with, is uh, heart problems. So he sends Wilson and Kurt Connors into this laboratory, and they have 24 hours to decipher the code, or if they can't do it, then Kurt Connors' family's life will be put into jeopardy as well as his own. Now one thing we have to worry here is whether Kurt Connors can control himself from transforming into the lizard. So he's able to do it for now, but will he be able to do it later on in this issue? We're going to have to figure that out. So now we see that Spider-Man here is on the trail. He's trying to figure out where exactly Man Mountain Marco went to with that clay tablet. And he comes across a newspaper here and it looks like um, Kingpin's crime lieutenant, bailed out by Magia Lawyer, as we saw from last issue, it was Caesar Cesaro, bailed out Lewis Wilson from prison. So now Spider-Man is going to be hot on the trail as to finding where Cesaro is at. And of course he does find him in this secluded building. He shines his Spider-Man logo. And we see here that Caesar Cesaro clicks a button to alert some of his men. So now Spider-Man is going to be going up once again by um, a big threat here with the Magia. And this time a bunch of um, these guys are going to be shooting right at Spider-Man. So this is going to allow Cesaro to get out of the way so that he can make his escape. And we come to find out that Kurt Connors' uh, wife and son, Martha and Billy, have been held hostage by Cesaro. So now Cesaro is going to take both captives to the Magia. He's going to take them back to Silvermane. So here we go. We see that Cesaro is going to run out of the way while Spider-Man is tackling these guys. Um, he's going to take good um, care of these guys as he, we see right here. He takes care of them once and for all. And now he's hot on the trail for Caesar Cesaro. We see that there is this iron door sliding down. So Spider-Man grabs a hold of that door, um, uses his strength to um, hold it open, and now he's hot on the trail 
when all of a sudden we see Caesar Cesaro gets out of the way and a booby trap goes off, and it looks like Spider-Man was caught in the midst of that booby trap. And we see here that Martha and Billy um, look behind and see how Spider-Man may have died from this. But we come to find out that Spider-Man used his spider sense here so that he would be able to get out of the way of harm. And so we see here that now Spider-Man has lost track of Caesar Cesaro, so now he's back to square one as to finding the Magia. Now we return here, we see that um, Silvermane here is very mad at Caesar. Once again, we know that Caesar Cesaro has wanting, was wanting to take over the Magia from day one, and we know that Silvermane is doing his best to show that he is still in control. He checks up on Kurt Connors here, as well as Wilson, and he's like, look, I'm about to die. I need that re revelation. I need a serum. And so we come to find out here that Kurt Connors does um, reveal that all this time we've been looking at language experts trying to solve the tablet's message. But instead, what really needed to happen was a biologist. And that's exactly what Kurt Connors is. And that's why Silvermane kidnapped him in the first place. So what's on the tablet is actually um, chemical symbols. And so now Kurt Connors has to um, make this serum, and this serum is going to help Silvermane in his health. So now we see a very worried Martha and Billy. They're wondering, will um, Kurt Connors be able to survive as he's being threatened? And they think that Spider-Man's dead. But we see here that now Spider-Man is trying to search for the Magia, but he's going to rest a little bit because he is, in fact, a college student, and college students need their rest. So he goes back, and he's going to basically get some sleep for the night. He gets up um, the next day to go to ESU. He's down in the dumps. He keeps thinking about how he needs to go find Kurt Connors. He even passes a bunch of his friends, including Harry Osborn, who is now sporting this new mustache, which I must say looks horrendous on him. But in other cases, we see here that Peter Parker does not have time even to acknowledge Harry Osborn's mustache. And so Gwen Stacy here says, look, you need to be a good friend and you need to check up on Peter because he's been acting strange. So now we see that Peter Parker, after classes are done, he changes back to Spider-Man and now he's going to be on the trail as to figure out and where Kirk Connors is at because his life is in danger and now we see here that Kirk Connors has made the serum and that I mean Silvermane is not being patient at all he drinks the serum and we see here that Man Mountain Marco is like don't drink it he may have poisoned you but we see here that in fact it looks like he has been poisoned we see Silvermane he drops to the ground we see that Man Mountain Marco is about to threaten the life of Kurt Connors when all of a sudden we see um, from behind that Silvermane has transformed into his younger self that this serum this entire time has been a formula and to basically allow a person to reverse their age and so what we've seen here is a miracle that Silvermane, who was probably 80 years old, now looks to be in the prime of his life. He looks like he's about 30 years old at this point. And so this is the big revelation here that we've been waiting for for the last few issues as to what the secret was behind this clay tablet. We come to find out that it was a biological chemical formula that once um, taken into the immune system, would allow that person to reverse the age of that person. So wow, what a what a revelation here. And so that's how we um, leave this issue. We leave it off on another cliffhanger as we see now that Spider-Man is going to get in the fray here as he comes across a brand new, younger version of Silvermane. So what's all going to happen here as well as the life of Kurt Connors, will he turn into the infamous lizard? We're going to find all that out 
in issue number 75. I hope to see you next time as we look at issue number 75. And until next time, keep reading comics.